What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we have the new update, finally out, and with it came some special new types of enemies. I'm just going to go ahead and say right now, spoiler warning, you've been warned. Why'd you even click on the video title what it is if you don't want spoilers? Alright, so these new Void Angel enemies are going to be spawning on Zeramon missions. They are pretty much just mini-bosses. Like, you can think of them as like a Kuva Lich, basically. Um, I don't know if they're a guaranteed spawn on every mission, but we're going to show you today how to, like, insta-kill them as, pretty much as fast as possible. Also, how you can go about farming them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just say it right out. You need some pretty good gear to take these guys out um, at this type of speed we're going for. We're going so fast, we're basically skipping phases of the fight, okay? So that doesn't sound like something you're down to do. Maybe just, you know, use a Sirocco or something like that. But we're showing all the good stuff today. So, before we get into it, make sure you're stuffed and all that. We had a really, really crazy live stream today as well. So if you want to check out live stream, uh, look no further. About 11 hours of Warframe live stream. We'll be doing it again uh, all every day this week. We are complete no-lifers of this game. All right, so what you're looking for here is you're going to be wanting to kill these Void Angels. Um, things you want to utilize. Mana Eye Focus Tree. There were some changes to the Matter Eye Focus Tree, but Void Strike is still good. There's also an ability called, I believe, Corroding Strike on Matter Eye, which is going to make enemies more vulnerable to Void Damage from your Operator. Or I guess just Operator Damage in general. So, um, what am I recommending to you? There's a couple different amps you can go for. The biggest thing here is you want the Certus Brace, which comes from Fortuna. It's got the highest crit chance in the game. And I'm also using Virtuous Strike Arcane. I believe that comes from... Uh, the quills on uh, the planes. So, you want a very high crit chance amp. Stash chance does not matter. And as far as amp choices, um, I'm going to recommend you Clamora, Propa, Certus. But we did try a bunch out today. Um, this one is, there's, a, there's an example of the Replock Propa Certus. It's just really high crit. With this setup, you'll be killing the Void Angels, uh, Eidolon Shield, in about three bullets. With with the Clam with the uh, Clamora, uh, not the Clamora, the Replock. With the Clamora, it's it's not, I don't even know how many bullets it is, but it just basically mows it down because it's a rapid fire situation. Um, but yeah, what you want to do here is you want to down the Void Angel. The best way to do it is with radiation damage. That's what they're weak to. You can also technically bring the Vastalock to armor strip them, um, but you don't really need to do that to be honest. We're using the Kuva Brahma with a toxin roll and a radiation toxin uh, build. And the best way to go about farming these guys, from my personal experience with how buggy the new game modes are currently, is to uh, speedrun exterminate bounties. If um, if there's a bounty up for exterminate, it's pretty much just RNG if it's uh, exterminate or not. It's, it's the fastest mission type. And what you want to do is load in, start spamming the Brahma. Um, you'll have infinite ammo with the Brahma for the most part if you run Vigilant and Supplies. You're looking for an angel like this right here. Push the interact key when you get near them. Listen to some useless dialogue, and the the angel will start, like, attacking, kind of. This is when you start, you know, shooting at it. If you have the on-call crew member that I've recommended in previous videos, maybe give that a shot as well, as they will sometimes shoot at the angel, sometimes not. Uh, but yeah, this is where the fight begins. Use your Vastalock with Shattering Impact Armor Strip if you'd like to. Um, Garuda's 4 does seem to work, but, you know, the, the effectiveness of it is debatable. Now, this is the key thing here. Madurai has a new ability, I believe called Power... Power fuel or something like that. Basically, what you want to do is make sure you go into operator mode before you enter the Void Angels bubble to take you to like the the Taken King realm or whatever it's called. Before you, when you do that, you will get 100% increased critical damage for your amp. And since we're running these really high crit chance amps, it gives us huge DPS for melting them down. As you can see, I'm basically one shutting this this Angel's health bar every time. Now, here's the problem, though. On the second phase, you're not going to have Void Strike. It's a 40-second cooldown, so you will have to do the ball phase at least once. Uh, maybe with, like, a full team, this could be good. But this is solo, uh, solo, you know, insta-kills on the, the Angel. And with how buggy the update's been, I don't even want to play with people right now because it's that bad. So, you you break the uh, the Eidolon Shield in the, the Taken King realm twice, and then it will come back to the Earth. That's the third health bar, and that's... That's pretty much just an insta-kill on a Void Angel uh, in 2022. We'll see how long this lasts for. Um, like I said, they're weak to radiation damage. 
and just uh, uh, a radiation toxin Brahma is great because I believe this was a Corpus mission when I was running through it. Toxin goes through the Corpus shields, one shots them. Uh, radiation is like I said, good against the Void Angel, and you know the rest of the stuff. Like, radiation's okay against Grenier, but if you're doing a Grenier mission, you might might as well just run a viral Hunter Munitions build in your Brahma. It will take a couple more shots to kill the Void Angel, but it's not going to be too much crazier. So now that you've killed the Void Angel, the hardest part of the mission is scavenger hunting down the key. Yes, it's extremely annoying. Basically, the entire uh, update is around scavenger hunting for Syndic Medallions. And no, guys, I'm not kidding. That's actually what the entire update's focused on, is Syndicate Medallion uh, hunting. Yeah, there's one right there I picked up. So um, what you want to do here, let's just, let's just briefly go over everything. So Because I didn't really show the builds too closely at the beginning here. Um, so the, the big thing here is, uh, like I said, your amp choice. Now, I have tested all these pretty good amps. Here's the 777, as people refer to it as. This one is confirmed to insta-kill the, uh, the Angel, Clamora, Prism, Propa, Scaffold, Sirtis, Brace. We're not even using the Scaffold, so you can use whatever Scaffold you want. Clamora, good DPS. Um, this one is also a pretty reliable one. Replock, Sirtis, Propa. That's the one that can kill in three bullets with Void Strike. And then I've also tested out, I think it was this one, Cantic Prism. Uh, it's it Basically, you're only looking for this Sirtis Branch, for well, this high crit chance. Uh, but it's, it's enough damage to kill it before the orbs come out. And then also the um, the, the Lega Prism could not. The Lega Prism is not have enough DPS for that. So maybe don't run that. We tried out the uh, Sirocco. It, can, it cannot phase skip, but it can still deal okay damage. And I believe it was this one. Uh, it, it's it's the Cantic Prism. This one actually had the craziest DPS, but it seemed unreliable. That's the Tier 4 Prism. As you can see, we also have the Sirtis Brace. So you have multiple options. You can go with Clamora, Cantic, um, the Replock, and then whatever the other Burst Rifle one is called. I, but I'm going to recommend to you, for most part, Clamora or Replock. Um, and then as far as the Arcane, like I said, you can run Virtuous Strike. There's also Virtuous Shadow if you like to try that out. Um, it, it's not too You're going to kill them so fast anyway. It doesn't even matter which Arcane you use. Uh, but you could technically view the um, the matter I crit damage for, for amps a little bit the diminishing returns with Arcane Strike, to be fair. So this is what I was talking about. Make sure you go in. So jump into the Taken Realm as the operator, okay? That's important because you will have this crit buff when you get in there. If you go, if, if you don't transfer, it might not work. I'm not entirely sure. Um, then Void Strike, push. It, it, now it's a button you have to push to actually activate Void Strike. That will give you increased damage. Make sure you're not in the, not hiding in the invisibility before you push this or you'll have lower energy dealing less damage. And then the Contamination Wave, that's what it's called. Hit, uh, it's another ability for the operator. You throw out like a, a Plasmor shot basically and it makes the enemy take... 50% more damage from the operator for 20 seconds. This is the key. These are all the keys to destroying that thing instantly. Unfortunately, uh, Unairu is just, it, it ain't it for this. Unfortunately, we're just dealing a lot less damage. Um, and you could definitely run other weapons for killing the angels, uh, you know, actual like material plane body, I guess to call it, even though that sounds super nerdy. Um, we were using the Kuga Brown like a toxin, like I said, but we tried the Czar out as well. And I'm sure there's other weapons that might be good too, but that's not really what you're worried about. You're worried more about the, uh, the astral taken realm or whatever they call it in this game uh, where you're fighting them one one v one and the vastalock this is this you don't to be honest, you don't even need the armor strip to be honest it, it, they're that that easy um, once you know what to do that um, you know you could run shattering impact because this thing fires out so many pellets shattering impact removes armor per pellet and impact damage they get hit by so that's a good amount of armor strip you do it pretty quickly with all its attack speed and you're good to go. Um, also, like I said, on call crew member, I'll link that video down in the description if you'd like to see it. It's it's pr pretty much meta. So, <laughs> yeah, go for it if you want. And then we had Helios just to scan stuff because it's a new update. So, yeah, new stuff. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. It, Yeah. The, so, why would you do this? How about that? Why would you farm these angels? They drop a specific type of syndicate medallion. You know how I'm talking about the, the updates syndicate medallion focused? Well, those syndicate medallions, that's how you buy these new Incarnon weapons. Uh, which are going to be coming from one of these vendor guys. There's also a once per week, I believe, 35,000 Kuva uh, cash you can buy uh, for these Void Medallions. I don't even know what the actual name is. I'm, I'm trying to get used to all the names, guys. You know how I am with the names of the stuff in this game sometimes. Um, so yeah, this guy right here, if you have the stuff, so I could technically buy, I've killed 11 Void Angels with this strategy. I could buy the, the uh, Evolving Weapon pistol or even the rifle which i was actually pretty interested actually no i need to kill i need to kill four more void angels to get this one that's gonna require 15 void angel kills total let's see how many melee takes melee takes 15 as well so you know it's a good amount of farming 
Um, but you also could technically turn these in for a rep. Like I said, these, this is like a once a week Kuva cash from this, uh, this person over here. And I'm rocking Garuda just because she's super easy to play and like pretty tanky and, and strong. But you can you could run Rhino, you could run you, any buffer frame, Chroma, like whatever really. And the, the things those guys drop give you 5,000 rep per. So that's a nice little bonus on top of your bounty. Um, whenever you complete like the tier 3 bounty, for example, you get three of these. That's over 10,000 rep from one bounty if you do kill the Angel. Not to mention, I have the, I've seen the Angel drop a good amount of the new Arcanes. So, you know, there is loot, technically. Um, you know, there's also Sitting Medallion and uh, Couch. Couches and forks and food. But, uh, yeah, we'll maybe have a video on that in the future, too. All right, guys, hope you found the video helpful. I'll see you next time. Uh, it might get nerfed. It might not. I hope it doesn't get nerfed. I never want anything to get nerfed besides potentially, you know, overly easy endurance. But we'll see how that actually is with the update. I'll be doing an endurance run in the near future. All right, guys. Take it easy. Peace.